Hi, this is Fawn coming to you from Napa Acupuncture Practice, and I'm joined with my friend Lily. She's been my friend for many years, and she's a yoga instructor. So she's going to go through a warm up, which I really like. It's good for helping the energy to move through all the channels to get things unstuck. It's like a meditative version of acupressure, acupuncture in a to go form that you can do for yourself. So welcome, Lily. Yay! So hi, I'm Lily Garcia. I am an energy medicine yoga teacher, and I just want to show you who my teachers are. One is Lauren Walker, and she has the book, The Energy Medicine Yoga Prescription, and her teacher is Donna Eden. These are two brilliant women, and these are my teachers. So I'm going to share what I have learned from them. Okay. Here we go with our warm-up. Okay. So we're going to Step a little closer, my friend. We're going to wake up. This is called the morning wake up. First thing in the morning, after you brush your teeth, if you want, we want to um, stand and find your clavicles, which are the collarbones here, and okay. go in towards the middle. Yep. And there's a, down a little bit, you'll find a little indentation. Okay. And that is a kidney point. And we just want to start thumping, lightly tapping, or massaging, or holding, mm. or even just holding your hand over the point, not even touching your body. And this is to wake up the energy in the body, kind of like turning on the ignition in the car. And you want to breathe in through your nose, and out through your mouth. In through your nose. And out through your mouth. The next point is right on the sternum. The, the sternum is right in the middle mm -hmm. there. So you want to tap it, thump it. And what we're really doing here is stimulating the immune system. And everybody needs that, especially these days. Your thymus. Okay. Thymus, yeah. So thump, 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 breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. <sighs> and you know, you could just do figure eights, you could just hold it. And tell us what figure eights do. Figure eights just in gives you more energy to that part of the body ah. and strengthens it. Nice. All right, so there's that one. The next one is on the side body. It's a spleen point. Okay. So it's right where your bra line is, or if you're mm -hmm. not wearing a bra, it's about a hand width down. Okay. And or at the, you also feel the bottom ribs. Yeah, so along you, the ribs, yeah, the first. tip of the ribs. So you want to tap, breathing okay. in through your nose, out through your mouth. You could do figure eights. You can massage, you could just hold. And this is to help digest. Okay. Digest food, yep. digest information, digest emotions. Mm -hmm. If anything is tender, just give it an extra tap, extra mm -hmm. love. Spleen is worry in Chinese medicine. So this would be good for those worries. Oh my goodness, I need that right now. <laughs> there you go. So the next point is right on your cheekbones, right under your eyes, and you want to tap. Right here. Tap gently. Okay. Okay. Or you could just hold or massage. Ooh. And this is grounding energy. Mm. So it helps us to ground. Beautiful. And I like to do like some figure eights around my eyeballs. Oh yeah. That feels really good. And then I like to gently tap from the top of my face all the way down over the neck. Like raindrops. Yes, and on the chest. Mm. Beautiful. And then just, if you want to close your eyes and just stand and step into the silence and just feel the energy. Beautiful. The next step is we're going to march in place using the same hand to the same knee. And if you can't raise your knee, you can bring your hand, you just kind of come down to your knee. Okay. And the beautiful thing about this is you could even do this sitting or lying down. Mm. Okay, so stop now, shake it off, breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. <sighs> next, we're going to cross over opposite hand to opposite leg. And we want to do this to help ensure that our energy is going across the body. Nice. And we want to do this twice as long as we did it side to side. Mm -hmm. And I think we have pretty soon. And if you can't do this on your legs, if that's not um, in, available to you right now, you can even just do it sh over oh, your nice. shoulders. The thing is, like is that we're crossing over the body. Yes. Beautiful. You're connecting in and yang. Oh, yes. Okay. And stop and shake it off. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to zip it up. So okay. 
You want to think of an intention for your day or for your practice, because I usually do this at the beginning of my practice mm -hmm. in the morning, my yoga practice. You want to bring your hands to your lower body, okay. either touching your pubic bone or out in the field. Okay. And then think of an intention. Okay. Something that you want to remember throughout the day. And once you think of your intention, breathe it up the midline and blow it out into the field. And two more times. Breathing in and exhaling out once again. And out. Beautiful. Now the last step of this, one finger in your belly button, one finger at your third eye, which is right between your... And you're using the middle finger? I use the middle finger, yes. Okay, middle finger inside your belly button, and your thumb above, and then we touch the middle finger to the third eye. Third between, eye. Between the eyebrows. eyebrows. That's what I was thinking of. And pushing in and pulling out, three breaths, breathing in the nose, and out the mouth. Two more. Shake it out. Bring in your hands to your heart chakra. We are now ready for our day. Oh, Namaste. Namaste. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. That was fun. Yeah.